Hi friends, I'm Jess. This is the Hexed Library and today we're going to be unboxing some Archer and Olive Halloween goodies. So if you were here when I did my big Bujo haul when I was like, I'm going to start bullet journaling. Here's all of the things I bought. Um, I did tell you that I purchased a Archer and Olive um, that was like the moon phases and it wasn't in yet, but it is now. So here she is. Um, this is going to be, I think, I might change my mind because I might have gone a little overboard. Um, but I think this is going to be my first, like my learning journal that I'm going to do for um spellcraft, hedge witchery, all of that fun stuff. It has been a really long time since I have actually done any magic studying. I did a lot when I was in high school and in college. Um, I took some classes, did some things, um, and mostly for the past, you know, decade or so, I've just been working off of um, my old knowledge and skill. And I've decided that I want to do some new learning, training, whatever you want to call it, um, so I am going to keep a journal of, uh, all of the things. And I may just start out with like the basics as like a refresher and then work my way into more detailed things. And I want to study like, uh, you know, witches of history and people that are important to the craft itself and all of those things. So I want to do a lot of studying and I think I'm going to keep a journal of that. So this may be like a real basic and I don't know how much you'll see it. Um, but I think, you know, the phases of the moon is perfect for that. So here she be. I then got an email that was like, hey, look, guess what? We got Halloween stuff. How would you like some? So this is the journal that I got and I shall open it for ye. Do I have scissors? I don't know, but I do have this pointy star pen and hopefully I will do the trick. Isn't that a fantastic sound? Oh, you know what? I just remembered. This is this is part of their Halloween line. I am super stoked and I hope you are too. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. I don't think I'm ready. Okay, ready? One, two, ba bam. I mean, come on. She's beauty, she's grace. It is fucking gorgeous. Um, so I guess this was like the, I'm gonna take this off so you can see, you know, the whole front, unencumbered. Um, I guess this was like the box design last year for the Halloween one. And everybody was like, oh, that's so cool. I wish it was the cover of the book. And so they made it the cover of the book. Other interesting fact, I got the blackout version. Uh, do I know if I have any idea if I'm going to enjoy blackout pages? No. Um, but I'm going to give them a shot. I don't have any clue what I'm going to use this book for, but it was gorgeous and I had to have it. Um, if you don't know, I now have a new obsession. So, um, I mean, just look at this. Look at it. It's got the shiny on the sides, black pages. I'm so stoked. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. And I may hate black pages, but honestly, it's gorgeous. So I'm not mad about it. And then, like, why not just buy the whole Halloween line, you know? I got the, like, there was, like, a dark Halloween line, and then there was, like, a happy Halloween line. I'll let you take two guesses as to which one I got. <laughs> I am so excited for this. So I, I remember watching somebody unbox this, which... It was somebody who, it probably, let's be honest, was probably Jess at Jessie Curran because she's the only person that I watch and that's how I live my life. But these boxes are fucking gorgeous and I'm so excited. So um, we're going to start with the keepsake pens with enamel charms. Um, and it's just a little slide out box. Have I already opened this box earlier today? Yes. Uh, so these are just an orange and a purple pen. This one has like a little cloche with a moon in it. And this one has like a little two-headed cat. And I'm very concerned about whether the cat 
is a two-headed cat or if there's two cats. I don't know. I'm not sure, but uh, concern. I have concern. Uh, then we have these glow-in-the-dark highlighters. I don't know why we have glow-in-the-dark highlighters. I mean, I know that I have them because they're in here. I don't know when we're going to be using glow-in-the-dark in our books, but I guess it's just a cool thing to have. Uh, these are very liquidy, so I imagine you probably have to... Yep, there's a shaker in them. Um, so yeah, glow-in-the-dark highlighters. Cool, 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 cool. Our next box is this box here, which is... Ba-bam! It is washi, which is also glow-in-the-dark. Uh, I'll link this box down below for you if you're interested in like seeing more close-ups of all of the stuff. I obviously am not an expert at showing you things because I don't ever get free things. So that's not my job. My job is to just enjoy the things. So we have this two-headed cat again. It's orange, you know, things. This one with moon phases. Merlin's outside the door uh, and this one has like again like the cloche hello the cloche a potion but I'll know an hourglass you know whatever there are also some stickers in here um there's legit just like five stickers in here some cloches and a moon phasey thing. That's only four. I thought there was five, but I don't know. Maybe there's only four. That's a giant box for those two things, but okay. Also, we have foiled collage paper, also known as vellum. And in the vellum, we have the strange two-headed cat. There's two sheets of the weird cat. There are two sheets of this spell book and hourglass and moon face. And then there are two sheets of this with the hands and kind of like a weird uh like an all-seeing eye kind of there it is kind of sort of there it is you can kind of see it hands suns all the things and then oh look another journal because what i needed was another one do i have a problem Possibly. Note to self. Pointed star pen works great as a box opener. And I honestly don't remember what this one looked like because I was so excited about the other one that this one I just kind of blocked out of my mind. All right. Are you ready? One, two, ba bam. Oh, it's a spell book. Okay. I remember now. This one is just the. Ooh, this cover is not. This is a completely different texture than the other two. Like a completely different texture than the other two. It feels, it feels so smooth. Like the others are like textured. This is the faux, actually, you know what? They're all three different because I don't pay attention. So this one is like clothy, okay? This one is their faux leather. And this one almost feels like the cloth one and it sounds like the cloth one but it is like smooth like smooth smooth uh, but yeah there's a holographic hello hello there it is a holographic spell book with a hourglass and it is white edges and just regular white paper, but gorgeous. Um, would it be ironic or unironic 
to use a spell book for a spell book. You tell me. All right, friends, those are the far too many um, bullet journals I got from Archer and Olive. I know I'm five. I know I have five bullet journals. Um, oh, somebody stop me, please. Um, again, Halloween, it's, it's a thing. Why did I decide to, to start bullet journaling in October? Anyway, uh, that's it for me today. Let me know in the comments below, uh, if you liked any of these. Like, are they cool? Do you like them? Do you have any ideas, like, what I could use them for? That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner-related content a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. I'm pretty sure I just said subscribe instead of subscribe. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!